Next one from Ryan. Becoming a medic attached to SRT, what qualities did your best medics have? They were badass fucking medics. They were. Um, my favorite medics, uh, I'm partial to SEAL medics, I just am, but the Air Force, if I had to get shot, I would definitely want a PJ next to me. They just are, man. Like, they're really good, especially the guys at the 724. It's the tier one guys for the Air Force. They're amazing, man. They are. They are. <laughs> they're, they are amazing. So, the reason I like them so much is because they have such a high CQB background and they shoot so much, but they know their roles and responsibility better than most people because everybody wants to be a shooter. Everybody wants to be in the front of the train. They want to put their dog in the front of the train and do all this other shit. I feel like the PJs and the CCTs didn't do that at all. I felt like they were very confident in their skill set. They were very forward leaning when they needed to be. And they were very reserved when they knew that they weren't the best person for that particular job. Like assault is not your primary focus. Your primary focus is saving me if I get shot. So if you get shot, we're kind of hosed. I thought they were very good at throttle control and then managing bodies because they're, they're assaulters. I mean, they are just badass medics too. So to be able to put those guys with a contingent of support personnel or whatever else, they're very good at wrangling people and keeping them tactically safe because they're awesome. Like they got badass snipers. I mean, they do everything that normal people do just, the CCTs, the guys that call in airstrikes, are really, really badass at that. And the guys, PJs, all the pararescue guys are just really, really badass at all the medicine stuff. So, yeah, man, be really good at your job and then know your place within the team and how to best support. So, that's my advice.